police and security. The primary duty of government is to keep people safe. Our communities were endangered when the Conservatives took 21,000 police officers off our streets. Recorded crime has risen, including violent crimes like knife crime, which has risen to record high levels, up to 80% in the last five years. Last year, more than 11 million crimes were recorded, and the proportion of offences charged has fallen across all categories. Violence, drugs, robbery, burglary, weapons possession and vehicle theft. Prosecutions have fallen to a record low level. Some offences have been decriminalised in practice. Only 1.4 of reported rapes are prosecuted. Crime rates reflect the society we live in. Conservative cuts to services have eroded the fabric of local communities. The rate of school exclusions has increased, as has social inequality. Crime rates are driven by both. Where the Conservatives have failed, a Labour government will take action to address the causes of crime and end the epidemic. We will invest in our communities and public services to build the stronger, fairer society that keeps us all safer. Rebuilding our criminal justice services, we will focus on crime prevention and early interventions, giving people the best chance of rehabilitation. We will rebuild our youth services and guarantee young people's access to youth workers. We will invest in a youth justice system in which schools, local authorities, health authorities and youth services work together to divert young people away from the pathways towards crime. Police. A Labour government will invest in policing to prevent crime and make our communities safer, and we will enforce the laws protecting police and other emergency workers from violent assault. We will rebuild the whole police workforce, recruiting more police officers, police community support officers and police staff. We will re-establish neighbourhood policing and recruit 2,000 more frontline officers than have been planned for by the Conservatives. We will work with police forces to invest in a modern workforce to tackle the rise in violent crime and cybercrime under the Tories. To deliver these priorities, Labour will work with police and crime commissioners to reform police funding and share new resources fairly and to ensure that local needs are met. The Tory approach to policing has been different. Reckless, remote, authoritarian, ineffective policing on the cheap. It has led to what HM Inspectorate of Constabulary described as dangerous, disturbing practices, with investigations shelved, vulnerable victims let down and dangerous suspects remaining at large. We will retain local democratic accountability for police forces and reform the police funding formula to ensure sufficient, sustainable resources are fairly allocated. We will agree resources with the police authorities to combat crime and restore community policing by consent. Effective police work requires the police to serve their communities and work collaboratively with youth workers, mental health services, schools, drug rehabilitation programmes and other public agencies. A police force working within our communities, with a capacity to gather local intelligence, is also the front line of our domestic security, the first eyes and ears of effective counter-terrorism. We will work to eliminate institutional biases against BAME communities. Proportionate stop and search based on intelligence is a needed tool of effective policing, but the use of expanded powers means black and Asian men are still more likely to be stopped and searched, poisoning relations between the police and the local communities they serve. We will ensure better police training on domestic abuse and offences arising from coercive control, as well as historical abuses and other crimes neglected by the reduced forces operating under Tory austerity. A Labour government will establish a Royal Commission to develop a public health approach to substance misuse, focusing on harm reduction rather than criminalisation. We will introduce minimum legal standards of service for all victims of crime. Security We will address the failure of Conservatives to take effective measures against a growing problem of extreme or violent radicalisation. We will ensure closer counter-terrorism coordination between the police and the security services, combining neighbourhood expertise with international intelligence. We will ensure the powers exercised by the security services are proportionate and used in accordance with human rights. We will review the circumstances requiring judicial warrant. We will ensure agencies are accountable and strengthen the powers of the Joint Intelligence and Security Committee. We will constrain the right of the Prime Minister to suppress publication of committee reports. A Labour government will review our security strategies. We will review the PREVENT programme, 
to assess both effectiveness and potential to alienate communities and consider alternatives including safeguarding programs to protect those vulnerable to the recruitment propaganda and ideologies of the far right and others who promote terror as a political strategy. We will review the PROTECT program to ensure that public authorities take appropriate security measures without alienating the communities they serve. We will evaluate the mobile phone trials with the aim of introducing an emergency alert system. We will use our diplomatic services, our aid budgets and our international standing to promote peaceful solutions to conflicts and tackle the risks arising from poverty, natural catastrophes and population displacements. Our national security is linked to global threats. We will respect international law and avoid needless military interventions. Our security cooperation arrangements with EU neighbours are essential for our safety. If the British people confirm their decision to leave, we will prioritise agreement of a new UK-EU security treaty. Cyber security. Cyber crime and cyber warfare are growing all around the world. Every aspect of our lives, from the NHS to our nuclear facilities, from transport systems to communication networks, is vulnerable. A Labour government, ever more dependent on digital technology, will overhaul our cyber security by creating a coordinating minister and regular reviews of cyber readiness. We will review the role and remit of the National Cyber Security Centre to determine whether it should be given powers as an auditing body, with the ability to issue warnings to private and public sector organisations and designate risk. We will also review the structures and roles of the National Crime Agency to strengthen the response to all types of economic crime, including cybercrime and fraud, and ensure a modern, technologically advanced police service that has the capacity and skills to combat online crime, supported by a new national agency on cybercrime and fraud. Border security. Our border security prevents serious crimes including child abduction, people trafficking, smuggling of drugs and guns, terrorism and modern-day slavery. The Tories have further weakened our borders, cutting another 200 jobs over the last four years. They have failed to deliver exit checks. In place of an effective border control, they have required landlords, teachers and medical staff to work as unpaid immigration officers, creating a hostile environment. A Labour government will review our border controls to make them more effective.